Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 101. Inside this video, we will see the concept that is how to generate PDFs in Laravel. So to generate PDF inside Laravel, we will use a composer package. Also inside this video, we will see that how can we insert image inside PDF file. So for this topic, we have an article over this blogging website, go inside article section, click on level 8, click on the search icon and type PDF as a keyword. Now if I scroll down, here you can see that we have an article where how to add image into PDF level 8 tutorial. If I scroll down, another article we have called how can generate PDF in level 8. So what is the difference between this first article and this second article? The difference is quite simple and inside this article actually we are inserting an image as well inside PDF file. But inside this article we are not inserting any image file. So if I click on this first article, inside this article this tutorial is totally from scratch from application installation up to application testing. So for this tutorial, we need a level 8 setup. Already we have an application as we can see here. So we will continue about PDF generation tutorial with this setup. So first, go inside this .env file as we can see all the variables now are set. Back to article. So here inside this first step as we can see installation of level 8 application already we have. Now next, we need to install DOM PDF package. This is a composer command. By the help of this composer command, actually we can install this package and by the help of this package, we will work with the functionality of DOM PDF. So simply copy this composer command back to terminal. As we can see currently, we have opened this project inside this terminal. So I will run this composer command inside this setup, pressing enter. As we can see that installation has been now started, we need to wait for a while. So after installation of this package, if I scroll down, we need to do some package configuration. We need to open app.php file from config folder. So back to editor, go inside config folder, open up call app.php and inside this app.php we should find two different arrays. Like first, we have a providers array and second, we will have aliases array. So after installation of this package, now as we can see, package has been installed, we need to write few lines of code inside app.php. This first line, we need to add inside providers and this second line, we need to add inside aliases. So what I will do, simply I will copy this line, go here, go inside this providers Simply I will add that line at the footer of this array, back to article, copy this aliases, go here, search for aliases inside the app.php and I will add that inside this footer of this array, save all these changes, close this file, back to browser. Now we need to create a route, this route what basically it indicates. Simply, this is a normal route. When we hit enter call generate hyphen PDF, it will call a method called generate PDF from this controller and inside this method, we will write some logic, some code which is going to generate a PDF file. So first of all, we need to create a controller. Back to terminal. Let's say PHP artisan make controller and we will create the same controller with this name or we can create some different name as well. So if I will copy, go here, let's say PDF controller, pressing enter, controller created successfully, back to editor, go and reload, app, http, controllers and here we have PDF controller. Now next, we need to create a method inside this controller. So what is the name of method? Something called generate PDF. 
according to your need you can rename all these things like you can create a different name of controller and different name method of as well so if i will copy this method name back to editor let's say public function and here we have the method name next we need to create the route so go inside routes folder open up the file called web.php first of all save this controller file back to article I will copy this line go here and before creating this route actually first of all we need to import our PDF controller file so imported go here and adding this route why we have imported this because PDF controller here actually we are using it and from this controller class we are calling this generate PDF method back to blog article scroll down also we have mentioned the command to create PDF controller scroll down so here we have the complete code of PDF controller inside this PDF controller first of all we need to import our PDF library so if I go here let's import our PDF library that is use PDF go here next inside this generate PDF method we need to write these few lines of code so if I copy these lines of code back to editor pasting it here let's understand what actually these code means so simply inside this generate method we are declaring an array variable inside this array variable we have two keys like title and author you can specify number of keys according to your need now simply here we are using our PDF library that's why we have installed via Composer and by the help of this PDF library we are calling load view method inside this load view method the first parameter we are passing the view file name so in a moment we will create this view file as well and next inside this view file we are passing all these data inside it and finally we are returning PDF and download method this download method indicates that when we press enter to this route this route is going to call this method and this method is going to generate the view file with these data and simply download that and the file name as you can see this is the file name what we have passed so let's create this file so what I will do simply I will copy this view file name go inside resources views and inside this views folder I will create this file my hyphen PDF hyphen file dot bleed dot PHP now inside this file we need to write some piece of code so if I back to blog article so inside this documentation inside this article each thing very clearly explained like we need to create this file inside resources views directory and this template what we are creating is the layout of PDF file so here what I will do I will copy the whole code of this template file go inside editor and pasting it here now you can see inside this layout file also we are including an image file so right now if I delete this code because we are not going to insert any image in a moment we will insert that as well so if we save all these changes go here and finally we need to start our development server and we'll test back to our terminal let's say php partition serve pressing enter this is the route open into a new tab of browser and what I will do go to web.php copy this route go here let's type here generate hyphen pdf press enter and as you can see that a pdf file has been generated if I click on this file right now inside this file the content what we have supplied inside this layout is that something title this is the title variable what we are passing inside this data variable means data array and here we have the title so this title we are getting right here so if we go and compare this is the title next we have the author this author we are getting the value from here so this is the author and this is the dummy content so all we had done all we had seen the concept that is how can we generate a PDF file 
Now next question we have that if we want to insert an image, let's say at the center, at the top of the center, so how can we insert an image file? So simply, first of all, we need to take an image file so that that image we can insert inside this PDF. So simply go inside your setup, go inside this public folder and as a sample, I have taken this image, you can replace your own image and keep in mind the image should be placed inside public folder so that we can use a public path helper function of Laravel so that after using that helper function simply we can get the path of this public directory and the image file as, as well. So simply I have placed the image inside this public folder of that setup, go here, back to blog article. So simply this is the code I will copy and all the things I have mentioned inside this article that we need to take an image, place inside public folder. So I will copy these lines of code back to editor, pasting it here and inside this code simply we have a div, inside this div we have a style attribute and text align center is a property. Simply all the contents what we will write inside this div automatically will be placed inside at the center. So inside this div, what we have the content, simply we have an image file whose width and height equals to 100 pixel and 100 pixel. Inside this src, we are passing public hyphen path function. This is the helper function of Laravel and inside that we are passing the name of the image. So automatically when we use this helper function it will pick the path of this public directory and this file name we have passed inside that. So after saving all these changes again if you go and if I type generate hyphen pdf copy this route go here if I type generate hyphen pdf so after pressing enter it will go and call this method inside this method this is the data means array of data passing here inside this view file and inside this view file we have all the code where we have included our image, our title, author and the dummy content. So after retrieving all this content it is storing inside this PDA variable and simply downloading it with the name of this name what we have supplied here. So after doing all these things go and press enter. And as you can see that one more file has been downloaded. If I click on this file, now as we can see that we are getting logo at the center of this top. And here all other details. So each thing of this video is well explained inside this tutorial. So you can go and learn from here as well. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.